Welcome to another Ziva Math video. In this video, we will answer the question, when do you have to flip the inequality sign? If you multiply or divide both sides of the inequality by a negative number, then you must reverse or flip the direction of the inequality sign. Let's take a look at some examples. When working with inequalities, you have to know when you need to reverse or flip that inequality sign. And we reverse and flip the inequality sign when we divide or multiply both sides of our equation by a negative number. So looking at our first example, negative 3m is less than or equal to 9. We still need to isolate our variable m, so we're going to do that by dividing both sides by the negative 3. On the left-hand side, negative 3 divided by negative 3 is 1, so our negative 3s simplify out, leaving us with just m. On the right-hand side, we have 9 divided by negative 3. A positive divided by a negative is a negative, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. And this is the step you need to pay attention to, right here where we divided both sides by the negative 3. Because we divided both sides by negative 3, we have to flip the inequality sign. So that inequality sign is now going to be a greater than or equal sign. So our answer is m is greater than or equal to negative 3. In the second example, we have 5x less than or equal to negative 15. And my step is going to be to isolate my variable x. And I'm going to do that by dividing. And I'm going to divide both sides by 5. So on my left-hand side, my 5s will simplify out because 5 divided by 5 is 1, leaving me with just x. On the right-hand side, I have a negative divided by a positive, which is a negative, And 15 divided by 5 is 3. So I'll have negative 3. And here, our, in our step, we divided by a positive. Yes, we divided negative 15, but the step that we took, we divided both sides by a positive. So we are not going to flip that inequality sign. Our answer is going to be x is less than or equal to negative 3. Now I have v divided by negative 2 is greater than 6. And again, I want to isolate my variable v, which means I'm going to be multiplying both sides of my equation by the negative 2. And so on the left-hand side, my negative 2s will simplify out, leaving me with just my variable v. On the right-hand side, I have 6 times negative 2, so a positive times a negative is a negative. 6 times 2 is 12, leaving me with negative 12. And let's take a look at the step we just took. We multiplied both sides by a negative. And because we multiplied both sides by a negative, we have to flip that inequality sign. So we have v is less than negative 12. So now let's take a look at a two-step example. We have negative 2n minus 5 less than negative 17. And ultimately, I want to get n all by itself, which means I have to start by getting the negative 2n by itself. And to get negative 2n by itself, I'm going to need to add 5. And if I add 5 to the left-hand side, I need to add 5 to the right-hand side. So on the left-hand side, I haven't done anything to my negative 2n, so it's still going to be there exactly how it is. And negative 5 plus 5 is 0, and I don't need to show the 0. So on the left-hand side, I'm only going to have negative 2n. On the right-hand side, I have negative 17 plus 5. 17 minus 5 is 12, and I'm keeping the sign of the number with the larger absolute value. So negative 17 plus 5 is negative 12. And I'm going to bring my inequality sign straight down because I haven't done anything to need to uh, change that inequality sign. Now it's time to isolate n, and I'm going to isolate n by dividing both sides by negative 2. 
So remember, whatever I do to the left, I have to do to the right. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2. On the left-hand side, my negative 2s are going to simplify out. So on the left-hand side, I will be left with just n. And on the right-hand side, I have negative 12 divided by negative 2. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. 12 divided by 2 is 6. And now we need to take a look at the step that we just did. We just divided both sides of our equation by negative 2. And if I divide both sides by a negative, then I have to flip that inequality sign. So I'm going to have n is greater than 6. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to Ziva Math for more videos.